You know, nationally, we're seeing evidence of a, of a red wave, and, and that's not surprising. You know, typically the president's party sees losses uh, in congressional races and in state races uh, when two years into his term, and, and Biden is at that point. Plus, you have, uh, you know, rampant inflation, and you have the border crisis, and you have so many other things plaguing the Biden administration. The, the red wave is certainly likely. There's evidence that it's happening, uh, and I think it's going to be a factor in the election tonight in Kansas, too. I'm feeling optimistic, cautiously optimistic. Uh, you know, things look good. It's hard to um, rely as much on polls as it, as you could in the past. Uh, polling is more difficult now because everybody has a cell phone. Very few people use landlines anymore. A lot of people don't answer the phone anymore. Um, you know, so the, we, we're confident based on the polling, but you can't rely on the polling as much. So you look at anecdotal things, uh, things like um, the number of people showing up at Republican events being double uh, what they would have been last year. Um, things like uh, the number of Republican voters voting early being 30,000 higher than the number of Democrats voting early. That's notable because usually Democrats uh, vote early in greater numbers than Republicans do in Kansas. So there are some signs out there that that national pattern is appearing in Kansas too.